So you're considering making a move to Michigan, and you might want to know the number one reason people are moving to Michigan, and maybe the same as yours, but I recently came across an article in 2022 that stated, there are more people leaving Michigan than we are gaining each and every year. So naturally, that got me curious, and I wanted to make a video about it to dive into the details and share with you guys. So if that's what you're here for, stick around, because we're getting after it right now. Hey, what's going on you guys? If you're meeting here for the first time, my name is Eric Meldrum. I make videos just like this about all things Metro Detroit, cover what it's like to live here, work here, play here, and yes, the sunshine and the snow and everything in between. I'm also a licensed real estate professional. I've helped hundreds of people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest here in the Metro Detroit market. We wanna help you do just that. So whether you're making a move here in one month or one year from now, we got your back. Uh, like I said, we wanna be the best resource for you. So if this content is helpful, Go ahead and subscribe and tap that little bell so you're the first to learn about the current market and all the new videos we put out on a weekly basis. So Michigan seems to be losing a lot more people than it's gaining each and every year. Now, I don't think this is a new thing for Michigan. I think the balance has been going up or down, but let's take a look at the past two years. Guys, 2020, COVID broke, right? This opened up the floodgates for so many things that were just not normal before COVID. So COVID was like, all right, we're gonna change the whole entire way people live, the lifestyles, the way they work. And it did. I mean, it, it hit the US and around the world with a ton of bricks and people started taking advantage of this. Remote work became more popular. Um, people started realizing, hey, I don't have to live in this really expensive city. I don't have to live in this really dense area or put up with you know, the, the crime rates around where we're at just to be close to the office. So all these things opened up a lot of uh, thinking for uh, the average Americans, you know, you and I are like, do we really need to be where we're at? Or can we move somewhere else closer to family and still have the same same job, but a different lifestyle, a lifestyle that may be a little bit more in line with what you were hoping to have at this stage in your life. So we're going to get into some of these stats. You know, the article that I'm referencing was a study done by United Van Lines. Um, if you don't know, they're a national national moving company, but they did a study to understand where people were moving from and to, and they just took all the moves around the United States for each state and they averaged them out and said, okay, how many people left the state versus moved to the state? So Michigan was on the list. It was in the top five. It was actually number four, um, but ahead of them was cities or states like New Jersey. 66% of all moves in New Jersey was outbound, right? People are getting the heck out of there. Illinois, 63% of all moves in Illinois were all outbound. And then third on the list was New York. 61% of all moves in New York was all outbound. And then Michigan came in at 58% of moves. All moves in the state of Michigan were outbound. Now, totally get the other states, New Jersey, Illinois, uh, New York, high property taxes. There is a really big city, you know, there that people live in, New Jersey, uh, New York specifically. The city life might not be for a lot of people. So they might be you're leaving for that reason or a combination of the city life. They don't need to be that close to the office and or they don't want the high property taxes or the high rents there as well. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't include people who just moved that didn't use a moving company. So take the, the stats with a grain of salt. I'll put the resource down below for you. But still, nonetheless, it's a really good uh, understanding of where people are moving and why they're moving. So I dove in a little bit deeper and I was like, OK, well, 58 percent of people are leaving Michigan. Like, who are we losing? Are we losing, um, you know, 50, 65 plus? Are we losing 18 year olds? Are we losing families? And so we started breaking that down. And the age range is 18 to 34, accounted for 20% of people leaving. Uh, 55 to 64 accounted for 23% of people leaving. And then 65 and, and over accounted for 34% of people leaving Michigan. Now these were cited that the people were coming from cities like Detroit, Ann Arbor, Kalamazoo, Traverse City. Um, so where some high incomes are. So it also got me curious, what type of incomes are we losing out of the state? Well, a lot of those, 70% of those people actually of 55 plus, which accounted for 57% of the people leaving, um, was making over $100,000 a year. So we got some high income earners um, leaving the state of Michigan. So just putting it into context, it doesn't, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but I just, I always like to know, you know, where some of the data is coming from and what type of of people are leaving and why they're leaving. So where are they going? That's a good question. Like, where are they going after they leave Michigan? So the top states that they said they were going to was number one, Texas, number two, Florida. Uh, if you haven't seen our channel in Florida, guys, living in Tampa, Florida, my partner Juan and I, uh, we help people move 
from Michigan to Florida and pretty much anywhere all over the country into Tampa and then also Metro Detroit. So go over and check that out. If you guys are considering moving to Florida, uh, check out our Tampa channel and let us know if you have any questions. Uh, but, but do me a favor, drop it in the comments below. If you're moving to Tampa or considering moving to Tampa, let me know you heard it on this channel so we can make that connection between Michigan and Florida. And while you're down there, just hit the subscribe button and tap that little bell, guys. All right, so third on the list was South Carolina, fourth was North Carolina, and last was Georgia. So obviously people are moving to where it's warmer. They want a little bit warmer climate. You know, Texas, Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, all those places have really good climates. I would argue, you know, Texas and, and Florida do get a little hot coming from the Michigan. Um, you know, summers, it gets a little bit steamy in Texas and Florida, but hey, if you're trading cold for, for heat, totally get where you're at. Michigan's also got a lot of other seasons to offer, which could be good for your lifestyle. All right, so now that we have some better context on why people are moving out of Michigan, why in the heck are people still moving to Michigan, right? There has to be some compelling reason greater than all the things that we talked about on why people are moving out. Well, I told you in the beginning of this video, I could probably guess um, the number one reason you're moving here because actually it accounts for about 43% of all people moving to Michigan is for this one reason. It was the same reason my wife and I ended up moving to California and ultimately moved back to Michigan. And that number one reason was family. Family was a huge part of our decision on moving back to Michigan. You know, we always said if we could pick up our whole entire family and move them out to California or maybe Florida, um, we would probably do so. But we're not moving them and we have to go where our family is because that's where our heart is. So we came back to Michigan uh, to be with our families, raise our girls and ultimately watch all of their cousins and brothers and sisters all raise their kids and just be close to everybody. Um, but that's probably the same reason that you're moving to Michigan. Like I said, that was probably a good guess in terms of moving to Michigan. The other major reason is for a job, whether you're moving here for family or a job, you know, this is the main reason people are moving into Michigan. Now, some people are like, well, I thought the job market in Michigan wasn't all that great. Well, there's a lot of stuff going on here in Michigan when it comes to the job market. You know, so there's a big battle between Silicon Valley and Detroit. And like, who's gonna come out on top on the electric vehicle space and all the uh, technology behind it. And right now, Detroit is kicking Silicon Valley's butt. You know, Waymo, who is uh, the, the Google car, they decided they're gonna be start producing their car in the American Axle plant. They got companies like Rivian who are opening up here in, in Plymouth. You got GM, Ford, Stellantis, all investing heavily into electric vehicles here and the technology that goes into it. So what's going on in Detroit, if you haven't seen the, the Grand Central Station, um, Detroit has really revitalized this. So the mayor did something really bold um, a couple years ago. He basically said, we're not gonna knock this historic building down. Um, there was another big real estate investor and big real estate developer um, that was doing some cool things down there and they wanted to do something and the mayor was like, yep, we'll give you this if you just go put windows in Central Station. So they agreed to it. They got, I think it was an abatement or whatever tax credit to, to go do their thing, uh, a revitalization of Detroit. But this was the pivotal moment when Mayor Dugan decided, I'm gonna put windows in Central Station. That changed the whole entire facade of the building. And now people can start seeing this and he calls it this electrification. And it's kind of a good word because the ultimate owner and uh, purchaser of the building ended up being Ford. Ford is moving a lot of the headquarters and a lot of the, the jobs that they have into that building. And then right next door, they opened up an innovation center. So the innovation center is not just Ford, anybody who is in the vehicle space with technology, they wanna be a hub for technology and innovation in that space. So really any companies that are working at cool projects or new startups that have ideas about sensors or electrification or new ways to do things, they are welcome to go there. And then they're putting the road right outside of it. Um, it's gonna be the first road with a charging station in it, which is super cool. And then the road on Grand River right there, um, it's gonna be the first fully autonomous test track in the city, in a city. Now the, I'm not saying, I'm not talking about a, a test track, like we, we have one in Ann Arbor, um, they do exist. I'm talking about a fully autonomous test track that actual cars are driving through. So it's super cool. There's a lot of stuff like that going on. But the reason people are moving here for these jobs is because of this. Detroit has the knowledge base. Detroit has all the manufacturing know-how. And for that reason, you know, the jobs are going to continue to remain here. And I think uh, GM, Ford, and Stellantis, and a lot of other, these other companies 
are seeing that and they're investing heavily in the manufacturing and putting their headquarters here as well. So for those reasons, I think Detroit is now probably the new Silicon Valley. I'm gonna make a separate video on that, but let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, so just to summarize, the reason people are moving to Michigan, family is coming in at 43% and jobs are 31%. So 74% of all people moving to Michigan is for family or a job. So if this is one of the reasons you're moving here, drop in the comments below, let me know. And like I said before, we wanna be the best resource for you. So if you are moving here to Michigan in one month or one year from now, do not hesitate to give us a call. All of our contact information is down below. Super easy to get a hold of us. You can schedule a Zoom call. We'd love to hop on, take you through the city in our eyes, show you around and match you up with the best lifestyle. So if these videos are helpful, go ahead and subscribe and tap that little bell so you're the first to learn about the current market right here in Metro Detroit. And if you want some more videos just like this, go check out these other videos that we've made about all things Metro Detroit. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.